I used to come home from school and my mum would be making a roast. I'd be like, oh yes, it's that day. It still makes me feel the same way, it's crazy. Slow cooked lamb is one of my favorite things to eat. And lucky for me, it's one of the easiest things to do in the kitchen. I've got a recipe with these beautiful Aussie lamb shanks. And I tell you what, it couldn't be simpler, but it is so delicious. Let's get started. I'm gonna take them and season them up with just a little salt and pepper. Something magical happens when you cook meat on the bone. It gets a little bit sweet. There's lots of collagen, which makes the sauce delicious and thick. It really is just a wonderful, wonderful way to cook meat. I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil over the shanks, not in the pan, just like that, into a nice hot pan. We drizzle more of olive oil. We're gonna get that beautiful caramelization on the lamb, add our vegetables and get a little color and sweat those down. Then the whole thing will go into the oven. So I'm gonna preheat my oven to 150. Once you've got that beautiful char, that really nice deep caramelization on the shanks, Go ahead and remove them from the pan. Gorgeous. If you've got too much fat in your pan, you might want to just pour a little bit off because that's what I'm going to saute my veggies in. Then I've got carrots, onions, and garlic, and I toss it all in together. So you're going to saute this for just a couple of minutes. And the reason you're doing that is just to draw some flavor out of the vegetables. Take some thyme sprigs, add that to your pan. And then once your vegetables softened, you can add your tomato paste. I like using tomato paste with lamb shanks because it adds a little bit of body to the dish, a little thickness. Now, if you're watching me cook this and you think, oh, I'd love to add some fennel to that or some turnip, be my guest. Any kind of root vegetable will work in this dish. Now, you add the white wine first because you do a thing called deglazing. And what that does is it releases all of the flavors from the pan. We call it a fond. It's what sort of burns onto the bottom of that pan. And then that white wine just lifts it all up. A little bit of acidity helps to sort of break down any of that richness. And then you give it a stir and you can see all that flavor. Mm, perfect. Shanks go back. Go ahead and pour your broth. Chicken stock's a bit of an all rounder. You can kind of use it with everything. So you can see that coming up to a simmer already. Mm, all those incredible flavors that we've already got in there. Now, I take it to my oven. It goes in at 150 for an hour and 15 minutes. The shanks have been in for an hour and a quarter, so I'm gonna pull them out, turn them over, and then put them back in. Oh yeah. And then we'll finish that cooking process. Now, even if it's poking out a little from the stock, it doesn't mean it's not cooking. It's steaming, actually, because the steam's circulating around that pot but you do want them to be submerged at some point through that cooking process. Okay, drop your lid back on, and it goes back in the oven for another hour. Now, for the last 20 minutes, you just remove the lid, and then that way, it'll get just that little bit thicker. Yes, 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 yes. Have a look at that goodness. What we do now is gently and carefully remove the shanks from the broth. Oh, the smell is insane. So good. And of course, when these lamb shanks are cooking, a little fat may come out of them. And if it does, and you want to remove it, you sure can. Just get a big spoon like I've got here and just skim any of that fat off. Get a little piece of foil. Cover those shanks and that'll just help them keep warm. Because the next thing we're gonna do is bring this up to the boil and add some beans. So go ahead and dump those in. Good time to have a little taste because you might have to adjust the seasoning. Oh wow, it's so good. It's really rich and lamby. You taste all those vegetables and the aromatics. It doesn't need any salt. You've got to remember there's a little salt in the stock and we have reduced the quantity, which means that it's going to get more salty. So the only thing it needs is a little crack of pepper. Now to finish this off with just a little freshness, you could take just a few sprigs of thyme and just run your fingers up the side and get those beautiful leaves hitting the pan. I'll tell you, the second they hit the stock, you smell it, it's pretty cool. Now, once your broth has a lovely consistency like this has, I think it's ready to serve. 
pick this up and pull the whole thing in. Oh, that looks good. Make those gorgeous lamb shanks. Just nestle them in there. Last, but certainly not least, I've got some watercress. Now, watercress has a really interesting bitterness to it. The lamb's really rich, so a little lemon zest, a little watercress, it really makes the world a difference. Cracker pepper. One more tiny drizzle of olive oil. Oh, I've got to tell you, that, my friends, is a feast fit for a king and queen.